here again with another Shameless episode review video. Before I get into that, though, pretty important. If you are caught up to the point where I am in rewatching or watching Shameless, or you're just not entirely sure, then you definitely need to take the initiative and pay attention to the episode's title, which, of course, I'll mention, as well as put in the description if that happens to be the case and you're not caught up. It would be my recommendation that you don't watch this video any further to avoid any potential spoilers. And for those of you that are wondering, this is my second time watching this show. For the most part, to start, this show's really good. Towards the end, it gets pretty terrible. But right now, we're at the good part, so let's talk about the show in the comments section. This would be Shameless Season 5, Episode 9. The title of this episode is called Carl's First Sentencing. And this will be my review, reaction, recap after just finishing rewatching the episode. Fiona's looking at herself in the mirror and takes off her wedding ring. She asks why Sammy is still there. Fiona says Chucky wasn't destined for great things. That's why she doesn't care that he's going to jail because Carl basically put him in there. Uh, Ian's freaking out saying someone is coming to get him running around the house with a baseball bat. Almost hits Debbie in the downstairs bathroom, uh, who was in there. And then Kev is having too much fun at the dorm, and now he's actually called the Rape Walker. More on that later. Carl seems to want to go to Juvie. Chucky's IQ test came back at a 71. He, the lawyer says Chucky is functionally retarded. I don't think Chucky's retarded, I just think he doesn't really apply himself that much. And Sammy, Sammy tells Chucky to jerk the guards off for protection. Lip goes to a critical theory class, and he's not on the class list. The professor says he's hijacked her class long enough. Sit down, and after class, I'll decide if you can be in my class. Doctor visit for Frank. He finds out that the doctor actually has pancreatic cancer. And her name is Bianca, we find out later in the episode. And Frank, because she's freaking out a little bit, he suggests to have a drink and go to the alibi. And she's willing to go. Where is it? Oh, it's just down the block. So Ian goes to the doctor, and he's given some medication, and he'll have to take it for 30 to 40 years. V tells the doctor to Kevorkian his ass. 2% uh, two, two survival chance for her... Uh, I don't remember exactly what this part was. Tells the doctor to convorky in his ass. Uh, was that Ian? Why would you want Ian to be convorky? In? I don't know. Uh, but it's a 2% chance survival rate for Bianca, uh, the Frank's doctor. And cheers to all the time wasted, she says. Uh, she says she's never gotten drunk and done anything irresponsible before. And she's with the right person. Can Frank can tell her all about irresponsibility. Lip goes to see the professor. And Lip asks why... Uh, she called the financial aid office. She uh, likes to take that much of an interest in her students. And she's like, well, close the door on your way out. And then Lip actually uh, tells her that he wants to fuck her. And then Lip and the professor uh, start to get it on. Helene uh, is her, her, or Helene, or Helene is her name. And then Sammy goes after Carl in the interrogation room. She beats him up a little bit. He gets some shots on her, but I think Sammy actually kind of gets the upper hand. Frank and Bianca, the doctor, buy some product, and it's her first time. And she even says something about, I'm going to tell the police. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Like, a little nuts uh, at this point. And then Kev gets a call. Someone needs the Rape Walker services. Basically, he walks these chicks back to where they're at and to avoid getting raped. Uh, a nerd has some weed stolen, and Lip, as the RA, has to do something about it. Sean tells Fiona that he's moving because his ex is moving, and he wants to be close to his kid in Philadelphia. Uh, Fiona asks uh, he if he he would be willing to hire Ian as like a dishwasher, and Sean thinks about it for a minute, like yeah, I need to fire some other guy, and he agrees. Frank and Doctor Bianca are getting uh, high. Uh, Lip talks to the kid that took the weed. It turns out that this kid's a major hacker, and he can make Lip's owed financial aid turn into paid in full. But Lip doesn't want to use the school's computer, and he doesn't own a computer of his own. 
nor lip, or n- not even the kid, the, the hacker kid. Uh, Bianca tells Frank about the time that, uh, or uh, I'm sorry, Bianca asks Frank about the time that he almost died and asks if it was, if it was peaceful. And then Bianca tell, asks Frank if he's ever streaked before. And Frank's like, many times. And that's what uh, Bianca wants to do. So Frank joins Bianca in streaking uh, by the uh, the ocean lake, whatever it was. And Lip and Kev have a talk. Kev has been banging sober co-eds. Uh, they just really like him, aside from the fact that he takes them you know, home without getting raped or anything like that. And Lip says that he's been banging his professor, Elaine. Interesting stuff with all that. Fiona visit goes to visit Carl, and she gives him some nice nerdy clothes to wear with some glasses to make him look more proper, you know, despite the fact that Carl's kind of a thug or a wannabe thug. And Bianca yells at the sky, fuck you, because Frank told her that's the closest you're going to get to God, so yell at him here. It's court time. The defense says Charles has no smarts, Chucky, and Sammy wants to speak on his behalf. He's only stolen her heart. So Chucky's given 125, or I'm sorry, 120 days in juvie and 60 days if there's good behavior. And then Carl tells the judge that he wants juvie. Uh, He says a little work and you would be bangable. So the judge gives him one year uh, in juvie. And then Lip says Carl will be okay. And v, v says he'll be running the joint, which is probably true. Carl, early on Carl, not an interesting character at all. But now Carl's like full-on Carl mode. It's pretty awesome to see the development of his character. You know, going from a young boy to, uh, uh, you know, almost a, uh, you know, almost out of high school to a degree. The financial aid guy uh, talks to Lip. And... All of a sudden, he tells Lip that his roommate is going to pay his owed tuition money. What a crazy turn of events. No no strings attached. He just wants to do Lip a favor because he was given a favor uh, back in the day. And then we have a hot chick that sets Kev up in a room with a bunch of guys. They're jealous of the rape walker. Uh, He shows them a picture of V. And one of them asks why you would leave that. And this talk made Kev realize that he wants to go back to V. He thanks him for the really good talk. Lip goes to Helene's house and she tells Lip that she wasn't, or Lip wasn't that great. He asks her what the financial aid angle, or the financial aid guy's angle was. And Helene shells Lip a book and says that uh, when you're finished with that, do you want another chance? And then she uh, takes her robe off. Uh, Sean can't leave the state to see his son. That's what his PO told him. And Sean doesn't want to move uh, from his his porch so that he doesn't go buy a bag of dope. Fiona comforts Sean. Bianca tells Frank she's had the best two days of her life thanks to him. Bianca falls asleep on the bus against Frank's shoulder. And Frank instantly goes after her, her coach wallet that was in her side pocket. Kev tells a caller, Rape Walker is out of service. Lip is watching Helene sleep, and then her husband comes home. And apparently he's okay with Lip banging his wife. I guess they have some sort of open relationship, or maybe they're swingers and they want, you know, or she wants to bang two guys at once. I don't know, and I don't actually remember the whole deal with that, even though I've watched the show already. It's been a couple of years since I've seen that episode, or this episode. Bianca wakes up at home, wonders how Frank knew uh, where she lived. Frank puts blankets on Bianca. Carl's crew, I'm sorry, that's not what I wanted to say yet. Chucky and Carl get on the bus to go to Juvie, and then Carl's crew knows he didn't snitch due to the amount of time. He could have got a really easy sentence, but he got the maximum, essentially. So he gets a do-rag from one of the guys to kind of look like them. And then Chucky's looking at Carl to end the episode. So this episode was a lot of fun. I'm not saying it's the best episode ever, Shameless, but it was actually a lot of fun. Lots of intriguing things happen. Lip and the Professor, that's awesome stuff right there. And then Kev with the whole Rape Walker stuff. 
I really enjoyed it. So as far as my score of the episode, I'm going to give it an 8.8 out of 10. Very solid episode. And the characters of the episode, for the males, I have a hard time picking. It's either Lip or Cap. They're tied. They did Lip probably is the character of the episode, but Cap did a lot too. But Lip banging his professor was freaking awesome. And then for the females, Bianca had the most focus in this episode. Although Helene and seeing her naked, or at least her, her titties were... Uh, or one of them actually was quite uh, nice. So Bianca, awesome character, having fun with Frank, even though her her time is almost up. So you've heard what I have to say. Now it's your turn. If you're a fan of Shameless and want to help me out with the the YouTube al- algorithm, because Shameless is such a a great show, make sure that you Hulk smash that like button at least the the first seven seasons or so. Share the video with a friend. Put this video on any one of your social media platforms. Don't forget to sound off in the comment section about what your thoughts are on this episode of Shameless. What would you rate the episode and what would be your uh, choice for characters of the episode? I'm going to put my Shameless series finale rant video right here. Check that out, assuming you've seen every episode of Shameless. And then last but certainly not least, don't forget to hit that sub button. You're watching the video anyway. Subscribe to the channel, join the team, show your damn support, and be a part of something special. And JDev will return.